Richard Krause. Like its star Benicio Del Toro, The Wolfman is a little wonky, but strangely appealing. The film, which has more to do with the atmospherics of Horror Hammer than, say, the theatrics of the lame Underworld series, is a perplexing beast that mixes some fairly good shocks with a really lifeless lead performance. Del Toro is Lawrence Talbot, a Victorian-era actor who returns to his ancestral home outside of London after his brother is attacked and killed by... Hmm, something. Awaiting him at the dusty old house is his estranged and frankly just plain strange father, Sir John, played by Anthony Hopkins, and his brother's fiance Gwen, played by Emily Blunt. Uh, determined to find out who or what mauled his brother, he launches an investigation that leads to a gypsy encampment on a full moon. And guess what? He gets bitten by a werewolf, and every full moon from then on transforms into the thing that he hates most. Now, director Joe Johnson, the helmer behind Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Hidalgo, among others, proves he has a knack for old-school horror atmosphere. The film is all cobwebs and shadows and candlelight, and he can do action scenes, but absolutely no knack at all for dealing with the heart and soul of the film, and that's the characters. The Talbots and Gwen dominate the movie, but are more sketches of horror movie characters than fully drawn individuals. Hawkins, who gets the movie's best intentional laughs, playing the worst father ever, and Blunt squeak by on acting chops alone, but Del Toro, who is in nearly every scene, isn't quite as lucky. Perhaps he was poorly cast, or perhaps he wasn't really trying, it's hard to tell. He doesn't have a natural flair for the courtly dialogue that seems to roll off the British tongue so easily, but then again, the dialogue doesn't exactly sparkle. When your most memorable line is, I will kill all of you, repeated twice for emphasis, you know that the more time was spent on the set decoration, which is pretty great, by the way, and the transformation scenes, also pretty great, than the words. Despite lots of dramatic moments, long stares, meaningful glances, there is little actual drama. The story is pure B-movie horror and exists solely as a vessel to keep things afloat until we get to the action scenes and the holy grail of every Wolfman movie, the all-important man-to-beast transformation. On that score, the movie entertains. Blood squirts, a disembodied hand shoots a gun, and, well, more blood squirts. It's a gory little flick that takes off after a slow start with some decent jolts once it gets over using loud sound to create tension, and two great transformation scenes courtesy of special effects wizard Rick Baker. Now, The Wolfman isn't going to do for werewolves what Twilight and True Blood have done for vampires. Werewolves, frankly, too hairy to be sexy, but despite its flaws, is a howlingly fun Saturday afternoon matinee movie. Richard